welcome to another joke on battle video in this video i'm going to be showcasing my first runs of the two new events hopefully i can succeed first try in both if i don't hey you'll see it anyway so uh i'm going to be taking on each event with the opposite uh team so i'm taking on the gogeta one first the new stage of it with a patara team bringing a friend lead of the new unit with as much potential system in it as i can so even though I'm bringing up a tower team, you'll notice that I do have a couple of, uh, uh, one unit, actually, I'm sorry. Zamasu is a Patara unit. I I was trying to figure out why he'd be last trump card. He's not. He's Patara. Uh, but you may notice I have that Gogeta there. I needed to fill out space. And I, I couldn't do that with just any in unit, so... Uh, I decided to bring him along because he's final trump card, he's super effective on everything, All and right. let's just let's do this. right on in. So, I have no idea what I'm in for. I did not really pay a whole lot of attention to the phases. I did look at them, and I'll be honest, I have completely forgotten what they are. Oops. Let me just check and make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am, and I'm in Do Not Disturb. Fantastic. Don't need another trippy notification while I'm recording, because as much as he's an awesome guy, I don't need Twitter notifications popping up while I'm recording. So, you know, that's cool. Here we go! Why is my water warm already? It's been out for less than an hour. Whatever. Um. So we just take a quick poke. The Gogeta and the Vegito are extremely similar. Uh, attack defense plus 70, EQ plus 3, and launches an additional attack that has a median chance of supering when attacking. High chance of evading enemies attacking, including super as the third attacker, and will transform, starting from the fourth turn, regardless of anything. We'll get into what happens when he transforms. What I will say is that he does not counter, and he only cares about being third or not third when it comes to what he wants to do. Uh, eh, we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna let Candy super as well, because of course, he's solid. Want to give Vegito Blue access to those counters. I'm pretty much going to be running with the same rotations that I typically do, just pairing Vegito Blue with, well, the Vegito Blue, since I haven't looked at his links, but I'm assuming they'll match up pretty damn well. Ah, uh, water bottle is empty. Uh, and of course, I'm, I'm fairly certain that if I recall their links correctly, the Super Vegitos also link up pretty well together, so... You know, it's pretty nice. Of course, I could just pair the LRs together for the most destructive rotations, but... If I pull both LRs, I really want to do a fun little, um... Never mind, I can't do that, because I don't have the Fizgut. Well, I could probably pick him up, though. This is an interesting rotation. It's not a, not a good one by any means, but it's interesting. I'll just grab all of this. Uh, well, it's not a bad one either, though. Uh, if you're wondering why I brought Zamasu along, um, and Candy Vegito, I guess. So I explained Candy Vegito in my Boss Rush video, but the reason I have Candy Vegito is I just haven't bothered to grind up, uh, to farm up the super attack on the proper attack Vegito, the one that, when Dokkan Awakened, is plus 30% attack to allies. So, I, I just don't have him... Dokkan Awakened yet, or at SA-10, and Candy Vegito isn't a support, but he does alright damage, nukes a little bit, and then dodges a bunch of stuff, so it's just kind of whatever. We... Okay, we're gonna do this. This, because I don't think I can give you an Ultra, and then this, because I can give you an Ultra. Fantastic. Uh, and then the reason I brought Zamasu along is, again, I don't really have a supporting unit to put in a slot at all. So, uh, I just decided, you know what? Zamasu can tank half decently. We'll bring him along and hope for the best. So, yeah. You know, that that's pretty cool, I suppose. Uh, things are going decently, but not spectacularly so far, so... Uh, Vegito with his flappy paper hands. That doesn't look natural. I've never actually seen either of his super attack animations prior to this, by the way. Flapping his hands again. That's nice. You know, this super attack animation's kind of flashy, but it's pretty generic Vegito. I'm not too big of a fan, but hey, it doesn't look bad, so, you know, we'll take it. We will take it. 
I actually really like a lot of the uh, units that are in joined forces and their super attack animations because it's always nice what, what they do with them. I also want to do a free-to-play joined forces showcase if I can put together a good free-to-play joined forces. Otherwise, it'll just be a joint forces showcase, but with Yamcha as the leader because that's all I have. Um... Well... <laughs> I think we're on the last phase based on the typing and the artwork. Maybe I should have been... Mm, I definitely should have been, and we're not dealing as much damage as I like. If Candy doesn't just go nuts with the dodging, we're losing. And I don't want that to happen. I also love the fact that I have not recorded six hours of video yet, or, or of audio yet, uh, or or video even in total. Yet Audacity has gone from 22 hours to 16 hours of uh, telling me how much space I have left. Thank you. That makes sense, Audacity. And then that'll go up when I'm done recording, I bet. Because it does that a lot. Kind of just fluctuates. But anyway, we're dealing decent damage, at least. I guess that's what happens when everything's super effective. Or not. Okay, Candy Vegito, you, you don't have to crit to join the party, I suppose. Please dodge! Thank you! Please dodge this even more! Thank you! Thank you, Vegito! Speaking of, I guess it's, you know, late enough in the battle. That's cool. So, Vegito's passive just gets a little bit longer. He essentially just does the same thing as before, but better. He also now has an active skill, but uh, I don't believe that we're going to get the chance to see that in this fight. Uh, he can now... Car outside. He can now gain key... Uh, he now gains two key and an extra 7% to his stats. He'll launch an additional guaranteed, and he will get an additional key and attack 7% with each check performed as the first or second, and then he'll do an additional super and high chance of evading in the third slot. So nothing super interesting, and when we get to the Gogeta, you'll see that it's not unique either. But, you know what? He's probably really strong at it. As long as Vegito Blue doesn't just start critting left and... Well, he is Vegito Blue, but... As long as my Vegito Blue doesn't start critting stupidly hard, we will be fine. And it doesn't look like he's doing that, so we will indeed get to see at least a couple attacks out of him. Okay, maybe not. Alright. Uh, okay, there we go. Now just... just Don't crit. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Is that an almost 2 million attack stat right off the bat? It sure looked like it. And death. Well, uh, I guess that happened. Well, that's the event. And the Vegito, who I didn't really get to show off too, too much. Because, you know, there was only one of them. And he kind of didn't do his thing until pretty late in. But that's fine. I didn't expect a crazy hard event. It's easier than the first one. But, you know, sure, whatever. Uh, moving on, I'm not even going to do a cut, because all we have to do is go back, go down, use uh, one more unit of meat, change to you, make sure it's one unit of meat, go up to 40 stamina, stamina has been restored, super dragon, or er, super dragonstone, super thingamadoodle level 2, go to fusion, uh, is he strength? Yes, he is, so we'll filter to super strength. Uh, I see one dupe, but not LR. I... Okay. I'm gonna go with this one, because it's SA20. I'm gonna go to this fusion team right here. I don't know what his links look like at all. Does he keep over in a flash? Yes. Yes, he does. That's what matters most. And, uh, of course he keeps two spiders. So, end of the Vegito event we go. This time with a fusion team, the rotations are going to uh, be uh, a a anything from a anything that's not from Dragon Ball fusions in any combination whatsoever. Because, uh, eh. Goat Tanks is uh, probably never getting less than 12 key due to how these link up. He is still the best choice that I have access to at the moment. I would probably replace him with the physical LR if I had the chance, but I don't. Um, 
We've got Pan floating as support. She gives you a spicy attack boost. We've got Weirus floating to just crank the amount of orbs up for the LRs. Uh, Gogeta's not going to get to super if I don't do this right. Uh, we've got Barlot here. He's going to be floating for the most part. Uh, but he is able to uh, deal some okay damage and get some decent defense if he gets a good few orbs. Uh, mine is SA8 at the moment, I believe. So he's not an amazing unit, but um, he, he is a nuker. That's pretty much all he does. But you know what? There are worse nukers out there. So you know what? I'm just going to go with it. There's also worse fusion units. I probably could have looked for a tech type that was final trump card, but... I didn't. That didn't even cross my mind. The only reason I did with Patara was because I needed units, and it looks like rotations have already been established. Let's take a look at this Gogeta. So as you can see, he has the same attack defense plus 70%. Key plus 3 and launches an additional attack with medium chance of uh, becoming a super, and then high chance of evading as the third attacker with the same transform condition. Yeah. Also, I like how I was like, yep, it's for the LRs, and then I just immediately give it to to the EZA Gogeta, just because rainbow orbs, and then, because you don't need them, because you don't need, you have the strength orbs, whatever. But, um, but yeah, so, it's incredibly similar to the Vegito in so many ways, and I'm not a huge fan, even the art's pretty similar, but the super attack animation I sure like a lot more. It's got a lot more flair that, like, feels Gogeta. Like, it feels like Gogeta flair, not standard Gogeta, if that makes sense. That might not make sense to anyone but me. Yeah, he's never getting less than 11. Okay. Or less than 12, I mean. Yeah, whatever, you get my point. Oh, well. Let's give Barlot seven key spheres to work with. And if this Vegito phase does not die immediately, eh, we'll get to see how much damage he can do. No, it's definitely... Well, no, because SS4 is uh, no dupes at the moment, I believe. I think. I don't actually know what most of mine are. I know Gotenks there has two dupes. Hello. Was that a counter stutter? Yes, it was! <laughs> and a crit! We do not get to see Barlot shine. Oh. Gogeta transforms. Transform animation had me, and then it just had a boring chatter. Oh well. It do be like that sometimes. If we now go to his transformed passive, attack defense plus 77, same increase. Key plus 5, then launches an additional attack, plus, uh, plus attack plus 70%, uh, 7% up to 77, same exact thing, with each attack performed, and attacks effective against all types as the first or second attacker in the turn. Launches an additional super with high chance of evading as the third. They're almost the same. The art is kind of boring. But that's fine. I mean... Look, I, if you want to be realistic, they're not terrible. They're not uncreative. They're just not unique when they both exist. And, uh, yeah, you know, they're solid units. They together introduce a new category. I'm fine with it. I just really want to get the Bardock and the Trunks and show them off because their active skills look like a hell of a lot of fun. And I don't have them. So, you know. Also, this is the Unawakened Tech Vegito Blue. Just as an int unit, I guess. Sure. Oh, we're dead. Unless... Do you ever just clutch all the way up, though? We're gonna have to bean this, but... Oh! Let me check. Did I ever get a dupe for him? No, I didn't. I think it might have been on JP that I pulled a second one of him. Or was it on JP that I have a dupe in him? Big thinking emoji. Oh, well. Uh, this phase should go down in just a quick moment, though. At the hands of Gotenks, especially with that crit. Oh. I think we're in final phase now. I'm assuming we are. Definitely are.
Um, I'm just going to Weast because we're not getting that no items runoff. So we're just going to do this. We're going to do this. Barlot. Nope. Okay. I was hoping for an extra rainbow to carry up there, but nope. It's fine. I don't think Barlot's going to do a whole lot of damage, assuming he gets to actually attack. And that's a pretty bold assumption, considering this Gogeta is just about to smack twice. Oh god, what did his arms just do? Oh, he did get to attack. I was expecting Gogeta to double super. He did not double super. Barlot did not crit. Big sad. Um, We do not have good enough defense for this. Yeah, definitely not going no items on this one this run. Uh, I need to put him there because that's most likely to have crits. Or crits, uh, to have supers. And then we'll just do all of the shenanigans. And if we get... Oh my god, that's with a weast. I'm so glad I weast. I cannot imagine what a super would look like if he hits. Oh. Oh. Alright, Gogeta, you want to crit? Please! You know what's funny, too, is that, like, before Gogeta Blue was, like, a thing that we actually had, uh, it wasn't, th th this was, that was the original matchup people talked about, was like, oh yeah, SS4 Gogeta versus Vegito Blue, because it was their ultimate forms! And the stupidest argument I've ever heard is that Gogeta, uh, SS4 Gogeta loses for not being canon. Also, we get to see Gogeta's active skill! I mean, the audio to it's boring, but that looks fantastic. Oh my god. I now I wish we had gotten to see Vegito's active skill, but hey, maybe another time. Uh, but with that, I do believe, yes, we have completed this Dokkan event as well, which means we have completed both of the new Dokkan events. Not much of an achievement, but hey, it's still fun to show them off and run them with teams like this, so... Um, that's about going to do it for this uh, Dokkan Battle video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like. And if you didn't, there's also a button for that. If you press that button, be sure to let me know down in the comments below what I can be doing better. I'll try and do it better unless I'm on my mic and wish you guys not going to help. If you're new here, be sure to check out some other content on the channel. If you like this kind of content, be sure to hit subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed and want notifications every time I upload a video, go ahead and click that bell for YouTube to sometimes do that. Also, uh, I try not to mention this during the videos. I put it at the end because people aren't usually watching by the end. Uh, in my Dokkan Battle videos, there is a, and in my streams, there is a donation link down in the description. Um, if that, if it does not get out of hand and you want me to spend that money exclusively on summoning videos for Dokkan, just put something Dokkan related and let me know in the donation message. Of course, it's not required. Please don't if you don't want to or can't. Uh, just. If you'd like to see more summoning videos on banners that I don't care about, sure. Even banners I don't care about can be pretty hype, so, yeah. But, and of course, if not, it's fine. I'd rather you donate to charity or other YouTubers that are better, but, you know. Anyway, yeet! Oh, wait, that's not... I almost just hit the... I almost just hit the OK button right there to end the video. That doesn't end the video. I almost did it again!